Hey everybody, it's Moses with ESCA and the Mountain Dew League. Imagine that you have just qualified for MDL and you're about to start the next season. You realize that every single match that you play in for the entirety of Mountain Dew League has the potential to either qualify or disqualify you from professional Counter-Strike from the ESL Pro League. That is a massive amount of pressure to put on your shoulders. And if you do happen to qualify for ESL Pro League, then you're just going to have more pressure added on from the level that professional Counter-Strike brings. This kind of pressure can either cripple you or motivate you to do even better. And one player who is no stranger to that is Gabi. He has been competing under this pressure and on the pressure of stages for over a decade. We sat down and had a chat with him on how he thrives under this pressure. I try to tell everyone what is the most important stuff in that especially game, what they need to think of the most, most of the time, they need to think my position is important or oh, Fati wants me to have this kind of call if this and this happens. So um, I try to uh, suit them to the game as good as I can. And um, yeah, just try to be, just try to uh, calm everyone down, have like a good, good, uh, good mood, good, good laugh and have like, uh, have like showing the that everything is fine. It's uh, not not hype them too much. Stay calm and uh, yeah. Every every player is I think uh, taking their own own way to deal with pressure. Some players are listening to music. Some players are very concentrated. Some players are making more jokes. I, I don't have uh, this kind of method to to prepare everyone before the big stage. I'm like, I'm just taking it like uh, how it comes. And if, if I see something funny, I try to make a joke and, uh, but I'm not forced to make a joke or something. So um, yeah, in this kind of way, we, we don't have like a, a, a way what we always do before the game. We sometimes, uh, sometimes Nico's singing a, a, a girly song. I'm singing a girly song and we all sing together these kind of stuff and sometimes we just laugh about other stuff. So we just try to have a good mood. That's, that's uh, we learned it as a team. It's not like that I want to do it with every team like this. Some, some teams I needed to be more strict. Uh, some teams I needed to be more, uh, more like the motivator. But in this team, it feels like it feels the best. If we go to a high pressure game, if we just feel like we're practicing, we try to repeat it as well. We say like, hey, it's just a practice. Uh, Alex searched uh, bad opponents again, bad practice, but it's okay. It's Alex. Uh, we will we will play for him. If I re remember correct, we didn't have so much time to prepare for the EPL uh, qualifier, and uh, the first game against Virtus Pro was very important for us because it was kind of we never played like a tier one team before in that kind of important game. So um, yeah, we, we, we tried what I said. We were very conf confident in that game. Um, I can't remember exactly why, because I think the maps were really suited to us and we felt really good on these maps. Um, and after we won 2-0, we were really confident. Um, unfortunately, we lost against Hellraisers, a really tough loss, but we were directly after the map talking about our mistakes why do we lost and we couldn't really find the answer so we felt like it's it's not that important we have one more chance we need to uh, be focused now and uh, yeah we played against uh, penta so we had like a really tough game because in that time we lost a lot of games i think against them and uh, but we it felt really everyone was really concentrated on that day we didn't do anything really special but we had like a good mood and we were really concentrated and oh yeah, after the win, it was like a really release of emotions, and because it was like six months of work, uh, which could have uh, gone very badly for us, but unfortunately uh, for us, it was very good. So we had like this kind of big win, and uh, yeah, the the mindset on the preparation before was like every other game. We were like talking about our mistakes. We were like watching the demo from the MDL final again. So we were really prepared and we just felt concentrated and really uh, motivated to win it. I tried to see how they play differently. 
if they're in a high pressure situation, uh, some players uh, um, are trying to make different calls. Like they're more stressed in their car in their calms. They are uh, maybe um, not as concentrated sometimes. So I try to give them uh, a hint of, look, uh, I felt like you weren't that concentrated. Why is that? And uh, maybe you should have like a like a uh, like a help to concentrate in in a way that you do always the the same stuff in 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 the freeze time. For example, you 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 look at your money. You look uh, uh, what you you think of what you can play or you listen to to the calms of me. So you have like always the same way that you can concentrate or sometimes uh, in high pressure situations, some players are not um, have as good as calms as they have in, an, uh, in a calm, calm way, in a calm situation. So I try to explain them, li listen, why didn't you have like the good calms you had maybe in a practice before? And, and he's understanding that this high pressure situation is pressuring him obviously and that's uh, then we try to have like a good way, a funny way to get the pressure off and then um, try to think of these kind of mistakes I, where I talk, I talk to them, I uh, said listen you are not as concentrated or listen your calms are not as good. So we try to remind them while the game is in a good way obviously and um, yeah that's, that's, that's like a help of me to help the my teammates to uh, to not get as much pressure as they get uh, in a very good way, very understanding way. Um, I sometimes are not that understanding. Um, I'm like sometimes very mad, and uh, but next round I'm cooling off and just making my call. So sometimes I need to uh, kind of scream my uh, scream my uh, madness out. And after that, uh, I also take it as they also take it in the same way that we like, hey, he's right, we want to win, what am I doing? I need to be now uh, here for the team, I need to stand up, I need to be the guy who's making good calls and that's kind of the way I see it and also my teammates are seeing it in the same way. If I remind them in an in a important way, like, oh, he's right, let's go refocus and uh, let's do it together, like everyone's uh, doing the same.